My name is Joanna Hartle and uh, today we've been creating Camino. It's the culmination of a 44 day journey uh, that started 44 days ago and has been from conception to the culmination of, of the piece on Lee Beach today. It started from a process of, um, the, the idea for Camino came about by wanting to do a labyrinth for um, my next major public well piece. So, and I've been quite fascinated with the Camino de Santiago de Compostela, uh, which is between 28 days and 50 days. And so when it was all agreed with the Liart Trail, it was actually 44 days until we, I wanted to show it. So every day has been recorded, um, written, and through the design process, the thoughts that it's about, the journey that I've been on. So it's been like a mini pilgrimage in a sense, uh, in many, many ways. Um, and everything has been looked at as life being a journey. Uh, labyrinths are quite, from my point of view, quite meditative spaces. It's very beautiful, but they are a path that we and historically uh, uh, used as a a way to meditate and to kind of maybe answer things or just have a think about stuff. So um, in the creation of that today, it's been quite uh, it's been quite free. Although it's been um, it was designed. I design um, th in three dimensions, like with clay, then I photograph it, then it's put into digital media to create the imagery, and then it's uh, then created from the di digital imagery, uh, in this type of just free hand today, or not free hand, free foot actually, a lot of it was done with my feet. Um, but um, when it travels it will go as a light projection because my background is lighting and that's why historically that's where I that's how I design design with it being seen as a projection so it's been challenged to me because it's the first time I've ever had to create without a light so I've had to really trust my instinct and, and today we just thought we'd uh, I, I wanted just to see how it goes because actually that's how it should be it's just rather than trying to control it, um, it's, it's created itself. It's been really fascinating because everyone, um, and to, um, for three or four hours when we were building it, nobody was on the mud in shoes, everyone was barefoot. So there was a real uh, sensory, tactile feeling, touch, um, everything was moved by hand, no spades on the, um, on the mud at all, everything was tipped on or moved with, with pieces of their bodies. So. Um, and it was blessed. It's had different responses to different people. And the weather's been great. Uh, well, yeah, the weather's good. It would have been made whatever the weather. But it's a bit like life, isn't it? You just got to do it anyway.